Deciding to change her life once and for all, a dancer by the name of Lucia steals a bag full of drugs from the nightclub she's working at. However, the girl's best laid plans shatter to pieces when Lucia gets stabbed in the leg and has to lie low at her sister Rocio's place. Rocio lives in a semi-abandoned apartment block Venus, a gloomy place that makes her feel uneasy. The next morning, Lucia wakes up to find out that Rocio is gone, leaving her daughter Alba to Lucia's care. Lucia can't abandon the little girl but the owners of the bag launch a full-scale search for the bag, and it's only a matter of time before they find out that Lucia has a sister and check on her. Meanwhile, there's no doubt whatsoever that the apartment block harbors eerie secrets. There was a time when Spain was at the forefront in terms of thrillers and horrors. In the 2000s, Spain saw a plethora of aspiring directors that pumped the industry with new ideas, techniques, and creative energy. One of them was John Balaguerro who made waves with his 1999 debut feature The Nameless. In 2007, Balaguerro released his breakthrough hit. It was a vibrant zombie horror, Rec, that used the found footage technique. Rec garnered international success and was followed by three sequels. The movie even inspired an American remake that itself spawned a sequel. Not willing to just ride on his past success, Balaguerro continued to put his creative juices to work. But the only time he hit the bull's eye was with his 2011 film Sleep Tight, a brilliant thriller about a concierge who continuously sneaks into the apartment of one of the tenants. Venus is Balaguerro's attempt to make a comeback to the horror genre and shake things up by cross-breeding a paranormal horror with a criminal thriller. On one side, the female protagonist is haunted by supernatural forces. On the other side, she's hunted by tough guys armed with guns and knives. Caught in the crossfire, Lucia is moving towards a dramatic finale, but this is where Venus takes a fall. Maestro of suspense and tension, Balaguerro spends almost the entire movie hinting at a mind-boggling climax. Let's avoid spoilers and just say that the only mind-boggling thing about the film's ending is a bitter taste of disappointment. On the other hand, a weak finale is not reason enough to write off Venus altogether. After all, in the horror genre, the journey tends to be way more important than the destination. And this is where Balaguerro proves his right to be called a horror maestro. He's not doing anything particular. He's not trying to impress or catch you breathless. Like a relentless Duracell bunny, he's producing first-class horror content non-stop, keeping the viewer on the edge of their seat. He doesn't put much effort into the relationship between Lucia and the little Alba, but still, it works. He doesn't add anything new to the criminal's plotline, but he fleshes out exciting characters and comes up with a few ingenious details, like a detective slash psychic that resorts to supernatural forces for help. Venus is not a revelation, but in the hands of a professional, it all comes together into a movie that is enjoyable to watch. And it's actually a good thing, because with all those slow burners, meta horrors, and other reinventions of the genre, we're starting to forget how great it is to just watch an interesting movie.